we have to give the parents some credit so some of the are due. Okay. Um, then we want to uh, then we want to we take in the uh, syntax also syntax okay. for some of and we want to the base it in the you know script of the UI script. Okay. Then then we will give the um build it, then it will be build the the so Okay. Um, so how you uh, how many projects you have completed so far? Um two projects. So could you please explain what are the issues you have faced uh, while they're doing this project and how do you resolve this? Um, yes sir. No, no, first of all, it was uh, applying to the multiple servers. Mm-hmm. In the uh, first uh, previously, I did uh, I, I did the your language, but I did not. Uh, uh, well, well, that uh, servers want I I did I servers shut. Uh, I owned it and I I did not minimize the servers. Okay. So and that uh, that the uh, deployment of the project will not be deployed in Pocket. So after the I know um, I have known that when you are want to deploy in that particular server into the Tomcat, you want to be be minimized as a server in the in that area. So then only want to deploy it. Okay. What is Docker Compose? Docker Compose is it is a uh, uh, multi uh, to build the multiple uh, multi, to create the multiple containers at a time okay. and it will be running. Okay. What happens when you say uh, Docker Compose down? Docker Compose down means it will be deleted that particular container. Only, it. only the container or uh, the volume also. Volume of the container. Network, but I think no, sir. But I know that uh, it will be shut down, it will be stopped, and then it will be container will be deleted. Deleted or uh, could you please write the example Docker file for me? Docker file. Mm-hmm. Yes. I have some written this now. Come. I am um, remember the sum of the Okay, could you please explain this? The so formula is it will be at the top of the it is the source where you want to uh, uh, you want to take in the particular application. Mm-hmm. Uh, the label means is the maintainer who you want to be the name for the okay. uh, and uh, run means uh, run means uh, who want to the uh, copy of the file other uh, uh, we want to uh, run means you want to keep it will want to run or not. Um, port, port means uh, it means expose means uh, it is a port number mm-hmm. and the CMD means it is a command line, it will be override also. Okay. Working layer means it will be locate the way you want to the path one what should be. Okay. And, uh, and copy means if you want to uh, copy uh, copy to file file one file to another file. Okay. Mm-hmm. ARG and okay. Are you able to write the compose file as well? Compose file. Yeah. Just try to write the compose file as well, Docker compose file. Docker compose file, which you want to build the multiple contents. Yes. How it's going to start? Start. It is starting with the front. front. What about the Docker compose? And how it's going to start? Normal. It is, it, it, we don't use this type of things, right? Okay. So, how it is going to start? So, have you heard about uh, versions? Version control. Service. Yes. So, that, that we need to write about the file. file. So, uh, once you write the Docker file, yes. so please write a command to build the Docker file and then push the Docker file into the tag the Docker file and then push. I want three commands build, tag, and then push. So, so to, build, to run the build the particular Docker file. Okay. And so you want to push that? Push. I want to tag it and I want to push it. Tag it and push it. Yes. Tag is used for to tag the Docker. Yes. Tag is the Docker tag. Okay. To use the Docker tag, it will it will be tag the the versions of the Docker okay. that particular file. Okay. And it will push it, sir. Docker push. Okay. It will push to push the that particular Docker file. Do uh, where? Uh, to the particular repository. Okay. Uh, and what is AMI? AMI is an use now. Uh, AMI is an, we, we want to create. We have the uh, host. Then we want, want to create the multiple users, then it will be used in the So you did your first project, right? Yes. Yeah, so how did you do your first project? Um, AM, ah, yeah, sir. Uh, AM means you want to go. Amazon machine. Uh, Amazon uh, machine images. Okay. Uh, AMI means you uh, want to uh, create the multiple uh, servers by okay. existing uh, application, okay. then we use the AM. Okay. By using the AMI, we have the Tomcat. Uh, for example, we have the Tomcat installed. Okay. By the um, by, you want to create the another Tomcat at two three app. Okay. Two three. Then mm-hmm. we use AMI. By AMI, without the 
giving any commands or a installation process, mm -hmm. we can create the uh, that particular Tom, Tom uh, application okay. by the existing application. What is different storage cycles, storage classes we have in uh, S3? EFS and S3 or storage classes? Okay, how good for you to mention and now uh, if you go with the life cycle, what are the advantages you are going to check? S3 By using the data cycle, we, you know, by, we, we have uh, we can, by, in that particular time, we didn't have the uh, burden about the cost of that. By using that, we have the want to, uh, by, it will be safe for us. Why? Because it will not be uh, but burden for us and for money and it also to increase that particular previous uh, days for oh, first of all you know in first time standards like say you have the 30 days it will be more than 30 days it will be in 60 days so by by it will days will be increased and the cost will be less yes. okay. thank you thanks